Welcome to the second video in our series on how to begin mastering in ozone. We're in Sweetwater Studio C and we're joined by mastering engineer Jonathan Weiner. Jonathan? It's good to see you. In this installment, we'll be checking out how to set up your basic levels in ozone. All right, so the first step in actual mastering, once I've got my ozone uh, application started, is to think about the level of the track coming in and also where I want the level to end up. Um, you know, we, we all sort of think about making tracks louder and therefore better, but that's not always better in every context. In this case, this track is a soundtrack for a YouTube video. So I know that ultimately I want my average level, and I'm going to show that to you here on a meter in a moment, to live somewhere in the neighborhood of, say, minus 12, minus 14 RMS. All right? So I'm going to go to the loudest part of the track and take a look at the meter over here. So watch the peak level and the average level, and let's see what it reads. So I probably need to raise this track at least 3 or 4 dB to satisfy the YouTube level. So what I might do is instantiate my maximizer, drop the threshold, and let's say by 4 dB, uh, and that's going to give me 4 dB more gain in my track. The reason I want to do that from the beginning is that anything you do when you're mastering is going to change the sound. So rather than optimizing the sound and then raising the level later, which is then going to change the sound and make me want to revisit all of my EQ and compression decisions, I want this sort of wound into my process right from the beginning so I can hear exactly where I'm going to end up. All right. Um, another thing I'm going to do is take the ceiling and knock that down a half a dB, getting that little bit of headroom at the output of your mastering chain means you're less likely to hear distortion on playback. All right. So now, if we play sort of the before and after, and, and you'll notice that I checked in the loudest section of the track here to make sure that I understood the maximum effect that the limiter would have. So that's without it. Okay, so that's just a good starting point for me with the maximizer. So now I can move on to start thinking about what I want to do to change the sound of the track. Thanks for joining us for this series of videos on how to begin mastering in ozone. If you have questions on ozone or any other isotope products, give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call or visit Sweetwater.com. I'm Mitch Gallagher, and this is Mastering Engineer Jonathan Weiner.